We are making coco vin. The dish starts by saturating the, we use chicken, of course, dark meat chicken, okay? Traditionally, this is made with thighs and drummers. And look at this shellacked color. That color comes from the wine before you brown the chicken, the wine setting into the chicken, mm. bathing it in the wine, mm. develops these beautiful ruby colors, that great uh, natural sugars uh, as you're developing all the flavor when you go to brown the chicken. Now, I take a good package or two, depending on the size of the package, but you want to, I don't know, about this much. What would you say? Mm -hmm. Three cups yeah. of pearl onions, red or white, doesn't matter, and a couple of fresh bay leaves. Put this with an entire bottle of burgundy, red burgundy. Put that with the chicken, eight to 12 pieces. We have 12. Eight to 12 pieces in a large plastic food storage bag overnight or in a shallow dish, okay? Then we strain the onions, the pearl onions and the bay. Mm -hmm. Strain that off. And we're left with the, pretty much the entire bottle of wine that's got some of the chicken's natural juices in it. So now we're going to reduce that on the back burner and let that start to thicken up. In the pan that we browned the chicken in, this giant cast iron skillet, we've got lardon, or thick cuts of bacon, of bacon right. I need the rest of the mushrooms. Can okay. you get to work on this? So we're just gonna quarter up some mushrooms. I like to use white mushrooms, very traditional in the coco vin, but of course creminis are great too. Can you give me a whole bunch, like a giant bulb of garlic? Yes. Crush, crush them and run your knife through. It's fine. Happens all day long in here. There you go. You can tell everything I make by just looking at the floor. <laughs> and well, you I want me to put this garlic in here? Yes, please, sir. Thank yeah, you. The... We're going to add all of our little onions. Now, you are going to sprinkle in the flour over the top of the mushrooms. Yes. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. We did not salt the mushrooms because when we salt things, it draws out all the liquid. And it doesn't you, brown fast enough. You brown, exactly. My See, God, I told you, you really I know listen. all of it. <laughs> so, so we, we let the mushrooms get brown first and then we add the salt and the pepper and now stir in the flour you don't want it to taste like paste. Yep. There you go. And now we're going to add some demi Is this called a roux? It is. In a you, way? It, it is, it is. Flour yeah. and butter in equal amounts are a roux. You can sprinkle the flour in later, but you don't want it to taste like paste. So we stir it together and that becomes the thickening agent. This will also add a ton of flavor. This is a little too, uh, 1.5 ounce, but about two tablespoon portion of demi glass. So concentrated stock. So then we're going to add a little squirt of tomato paste. You don't want this to taste too tomatoey, but you want it to have that ruby glaze. Stir that in. Yep. This is gonna be a good meal for me to make. It's gorgeous. And uh, as I said, you should make it a day before. It is just divine. So the make it a day before set. and then, run, then so warm it up? Soak it, soak it on the first day. Mm -hmm. On the second day, cook it, serve it the next day. And now you're going to do the most important part. Take the reduced wine. Did this is our this marinade. Oh, we forgot the brandy. We forgot the brandy. Dang, I told you about the brandy. You told me about the brandy, we forgot it. Um, just a quick turn I'll in the pan, the girl. Little, all right, just a splash of brandy, cognac or armagnac. Just a little splash. So now we're going to add your reduced, now that's the full bottle that we soaked the chicken in. Pour that on in there. Delightful. Now you marry all that together, just stir that all together. You use your paddle or your tongs. I use my tongs all the time. And then nest the chicken in. And then we cover it with foil and pop it in the oven for about an hour to an hour and a half until the chicken is literally falling apart. I mean, come on. This is a sexy beast. <laughs> this is a sexy, sexy beast. This is our coco vin with our red pearl onions. Look at that sauce, those mushrooms. My God, my God. <laughs>